Hey guys, Guru here. Today I'm going to talk about how to install macOS on your custom built PC. Technically, it's called Hackintosh. I know you guys are already feeling good with the using Windows 10, but that there are plenty of people want to buy a Mac systems, but they are failed to buy it. Either it for money or it for lack of more options. Especially in India, you won't get higher configuration option for all Mac products like uh, other countries offer. So that's why that Hackintosh is very popular here. So there are so many communities that are available in the internet for help to install macOS on your PC and they have build guides and instruction to help it out. If you don't have the PC hardware, you just uh, go to the build guide for purchase the best configuration that suits your need. So you can purchase from that and you can start installing the macOS or else if you already have the some basic level hardware configuration PC, you just follow this method. So this method is very simple. Let me tell you one story. I'm using Hackintosh from macOS Sierra like two years ago. But after re releasing the macOS High Sierra, I just went to upgrade to new version. It causes me many issues. I was like frustrated and not, I failed to switch back to macOS Sierra also. So I lost my basically everything and I have tried so many times like around 20 times to reinstall the uh, Mac OS but uh, I don't know the issues I also follow with the installation guide over the internet but uh, that solution is not solved in my case so then I switch back to Windows and I lost every plugins and templates of my Final Cut Pro software due to the compatibility issues I switch back to Windows 10 and uh, after eight months of using windows in that time i have got to know some of the new tools that are available to install the mac os on your uh, default configuration pcs so then i give a try to install the hackintosh this time i didn't uh, try the tony mac 86 that is a popular uh, clover installation guide so i just uh, went with the other uh, installation guide that at the time i got the Hacking Tosh Zone. This is the health installation guide help me with the completing the clean installation of Mac OS High Sierra. So this is the method I'm showing in the video. So before starting the installation, I like to show with the configuration which I'm using for this installation. In that case, I'm using Intel Core i7 6700K Skylake Quad Core CPU with 16GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD and I'm using two graphics card because latest macOS Mojave won't support NVIDIA web drivers or NVIDIA graphics cards. That's why I will show both operating system. So in that case, I am using both NVIDIA and AMD RX 580 graphics card. So AMD RX 580 graphics card natively support in macOS Mojave. So no need of installing the uh, drivers for that. So but if you are using NVIDIA graphics card that is limited to M NVIDIA GTX 10 series, you can't install RTX even in the macOS High Sierra because there is no web driver for those graphics card. So if you have GTX 10 series graphics card, you can install macOS High Sierra. In this video, I will show you macOS High Sierra version. So that is same as macOS Mojave, but all methods which I am showing in this video are similar for macOS Mojave also. Why I am choosing macOS High Sierra? I have both graphics card. It, uh, both graphics card work uh, perfectly with the High Sierra. So that's the reason I am using NVIDIA GTX 960 and uh, RX 580 for installing the macOS High Sierra Hackintosh build. If you have the similar configuration like me, you just proceed with the installation or if you have latest hardware or older hardware you can install uh, using this method but you need to uh, install extra text files that i will show you later on this video once you done with the configuration you need to download some files so you need to download the macOS installation dmg file from the hackintosh zone website and, uh, in this case i have downloaded two uh, operating system both i mac os high sierra and mojave once you download it you need to download uh, nvidia web drivers for high sierra and uh, multi beast application for completing the post processing of mac os so to create a bootable usb you can uh, create from both mac os and uh, windows but in this video i'm going to show you from windows for that you need a software called transmac so you, that is a free application for seven days that's enough for installation once you connect the empty usb drive to your computer you need to format the pen drive in the transmac application and click on the option called restore image file and select the 
high sierra dot uh, dmg file from the downloaded folder and uh, it will take some time to complete the process okay once the completion of creating bootable usb remove the pen drive and insert to the portable usb to the computer once you start a computer you need to change the bios setting to work my mac os in your pc in this case i'm using gigabyte motherboard that are more popular in hackintosh build in the bios you need to change some options so for that you need to go to bios you need to disable the fast boot and switch to other ways in windows 8 and 10 features and in storage boot option select efi and also other pc devices choose efi and next you need to go to fairy ferals select the initial display output to the pci slot 1 and click on usb configuration select the legacy usb port enable it xhs ci and of enable it and usb mass storage device support or also enable it and go to chipset disable the vtd so So that's it for the BIOS setup. Click on save and exit. Once you change the BIOS setup, you need to restart the computer and click on the boot menu on your keyboard. So it will directly take you to the Clover boot menu. So in that you need to select boot macOS from High Sierra installer. Once it's done, it will go to installation window, select the language, I select English, then it shows Hackintosh High Sierra. Before continue, you need to select uh, format the SSD that you are going to install the uh, macOS on specific drive. In my case, I'm using SSD, so I'm going to format my SSD and, uh, and format selection macOS extended journal, journal and click on erase. Okay, now the uh, format is done and close the window so before continuing the installation you need to select the drive and there is an option called customize go to customize in the customize you select this is the one of the main part for completing the installation so you need to choose some text files here you select uh, open the mac os akintosh uh, high sierra select uh, audio in that audio click on voodoo hta and uh, also select wi-fi and ethernet and also USB fixes select USB inject all that's the main uh, text files you need to install in. and most of the uh, text files are already defaultly selected so so those are the text you need to install to work work perfectly so that's it you just click on accept and then click on continue it will uh, take some time to complete the installation once it's done it will restart your computer After restarting the computer, now this time select boot macOS from High Sierra. that is the installed uh, SSD. Once it's completed loading, uh, you just wait for the loading. So once it's complete the loading, now we are in the final process of, of installation and click on continue and continue, uh, don't transfer and click don't sign in uh, you can do it later skip and click on agree agree now you need to give, uh, enter the name and password for its must uh, needed thing continue and now it's done it will take some time to complete the installation and yes so now we are in the mac os in this method there's a own advantage it, if you are connected uh, to internet uh, through wire so it will automatically start uh, installing the, some drivers and uh, kex file to complete the installation that's uh, that's the one of the advantages of using this hackintosh zone method or if you don't have the uh, internet i will show the manual method that using the multi based so that's the reason so i need uh, two files one is multi based another one is nvidia uh, web drivers uh, you need to open the multi beast here click on quick start open this multi beast in a full screen that's there you can see the full information or else you can't see the options to complete the installation process in quick start you, you select ufi boot mode and uh, in driver 
select audio and universal Udo HD V2.9 is the latest option and it will work and in disk there is nothing and misc is also nothing and in network uh, it's also nothing so in usb select third party usb 3.2 and and in bootloader select clover eofi boot mode uh, plus emulated nvr ram so if you are using nvidia graphics card you need to select this option or else if you are using amd graphics card you just select ufi boot mode so in customization select graphics configuration select nvidia web driver boot flag and graphics fix up and next to go to the system definition this is the one of the main important part so you need to select a proper system definition so in this case if you are using intel skylight processor so select imax 17.1 and if you are using if you are using kb lake or latest uh, intel processor you select 18.3 once you select it, click on build and in install it. Wait for the completion of installation. Once it's completed, close the multi beast and uh, start installing the NVIDIA web driver. So you need to select the proper NVIDIA driver for your uh, current operating system version. After installation of the NVIDIA web driver, you need to restart the computer. Now the installation completed. Now you can go go to Finder and in System Information you can see the uh, computer information showing the your graphics card in details. And uh, now it's working. Even in the audio, you go to System Preferences, select the audio. So it's working perfect. If you are connected to speaker, it will work. So you can play any video. You can test it. That's how you can install the macOS on your PC. But same method applicable for macOS mobile. Only thing is you need to have. MD graphics card other than it same process yes now you have successfully installed macOS on your computer but still some can't use that is airdrop and handoff continuity features those are exclusively work with the uh, Apple Mac products uh, so for that reason you need to buy an extra uh, Wi-Fi adapter that will cost you more in this case I'm suggesting you to buy D-Link WA131 USB Wi-Fi so this cost you around 500 to 700 rupees in Amazon and you also get Wi-Fi driver from the D-Link website but you can't use airdrop and handoff continuity features but uh, sharing the photos you can just use the share it application both in Mac and iOS if you still need those features you can buy the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter but that cost you more than 7000 rupees uh, I thought it's not worth for that money okay finally here is my thoughts on Hackintosh you can install it and it works good but there are some disadvantages that you may face some graphics card issues after some time you may face it and most of the time it's not the case you can't upgrade to next major update that's still okay but uh, some unique features in from macOS like uh, iMessage, AirDrop and handoff features won't work properly and if you have the dedicated hardware still it won't work properly as it works in the proper iMac machines and uh, one more issue that I am facing installing from two months uh, that is shutdown issue it won't shut down properly and it won't shut down actually you need to shut down it manually if you want to put it in a sleep mode it will restart the computer that's the main issue that I found in my installation but uh, I don't know it, it appears for everyone but uh, still an issue I check the solution in the Noctoni Mac 86 forum uh, those solutions didn't work for me but uh, it's still okay for me apart from that I am okay so that's it that's my opinion on the installation of Hackintosh hope it work very well for you and if you have latest hardware it's uh, work very well uh, that I heard from the reviewers that's it guys this is how you can install Hackintosh in your computer so hope you guys like this video and this video will help you to get installation of uh, Hackintosh on your computer hope you guys like this video if you like this video please click on like button and share this video and subscribe to my channel who are all watching this video still not subscribe to my channel please go and subscribe to my channel and push a bell button to get instant notification of my channel hope i covered all the things if i miss anything about this video if you have any queries about this video let me know in the comment section yeah that's it thank you for watching catch you in the next video peace